Ooh, 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 can we get an owl bear, please, 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 please? I want one. A what? An owl bear. What's an owl bear? It's, 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 it's an owl. It's. Never mind. Welcome to the Cine Fanatics. My name is Robert Adams. I am Chris Adams. And we are coming you to coming at you today with We are coming you. That's today. No, no don't for no. <laughs> at you. We are coming at you today with a with spoiler free you. review for Dungeons and Dragons. Otter Among Thieves. Otter Among Thieves. Did I say otter? Otter Among Thieves. <laughs> Dude, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> oh, good lord. Um, so They've casted a speechless spell on you. Thank God. <laughs> Our entire audience is like, it's about time. <laughs> Finally. Um, all right. So before we get into any kind of talking about this movie, I want to set like the the tone for this review. We know crap all about Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I I don't know anything <laughs> about Dungeons and Dragons except that whatever's been like taught to me through Stranger Things. Vecna. I mean, like, uh, I don't even know really that old, the old, like, 2000 Dungeons & Dragons movie. Except it had Justin Whalen and Jeremy Irons, and that's about it. <laughs> oh. Yes. So, yeah. Otherwise, uh, keep in mind that this is going to be the opinion of two people who don't know anything about D&D. Something, something, Nat 20. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Just rolling the dice or something. Yeah. So that's part one of setting the setting this expectation. And of this goodbye. Review. We just lost. Okay, half the people are gone. Cool. They know what to expect. From but this here's the thing: there are people out there who also don't know Dungeons and Dragons, and they're mm -hmm. wanting to know: is this movie that they can watch? Our people. Yeah. So here's part two of setting the expectations. Not only that. We also are not, like, huge fans of, like, medieval fantasy. I think you're better at it than I am. Um, I do actually enjoy Lord of the Rings after having watched it and gotten immersed into the world a few times. Like, Lord of the Rings is kind of where I float, but that's about it. And I, I've watched the Lord of the Rings movies a couple times. I have not watched the, like, 12-hour extended, extended yeah. editions, whatever they are, but... Yeah. The three-year extended editions. I haven't watched those, but I have watched the original theatrical trilogy... Oh, a good amount of times now. I mean, I understand it. I enjoy it. They're good movies. Why are we still talking about Lord of the Rings? Because I'm setting the expectations <laughs> of our audience. <laughs> so we're talking about Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves here. And let's let's start off, you know, we, we love to do the hit you at the positive first. And the positive here is it is fun. It's a, There's a lot of fun to be had. The comedy is great. There's a lot of moments in this I absolutely mm -hmm. loved. Uh, the owlbear was wonderful. It was in the movie. What is that again? It's an owl bear. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Was it doing cocaine? Mm, not that kind of bear. Oh, should have been. Anyway, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of fun to be had. The, the the various things that happen based on different like spells and all that stuff yeah. kind of kind of brought about some some funny moments, some lighthearted fun moments. And there were parts in this that were very like uh, Ocean's Eleven heist like that i i wish the whole movie would have been like that because i was like so engaged with yeah. the movie during those parts um I, I mean not spoiling anything but there's a part that involves teleporting that was all really really great now really you're funny. playing with portals yeah like that was a lot of fun i enjoyed that part uh but yeah like i don't know if the movie was more like that kind of humor that kind of storyline i probably would have been more all in on it yeah but the some of the humor that they that was in there was good the actors were really good uh they all had a lot of fun with these they movies. clearly looked like they had a ton of fun each each yeah. and every one of them like showed up on set they knew what they were doing they were here just to let loose and have some fun yeah there's a couple of like really cool shots in there. There was another like one take in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, it w now this one take was very much helped immensely by CGI, but it was still a lot of fun. Uh, just I like those shots. Those shots are always fun to watch. As someone who likes movies, not just watching a movie for a storyline, but seeing the the technical aspects come through in a movie, I love that. Yeah. This is me trying to find something positive to say about this movie. <laughs> yes, and here's the thing. We do have negative, but the negative actually, in, in a lot of regards, when you talk about a negative for a movie, you're talking about places where the movie itself failed. 
And our negatives, based on the fact that we aren't Dungeons and Dragons fans, don't know the lore of Dungeons and Dragons at all. Um, where the movie failed us is that it was just really dense with all of that stuff, and it kind of just loses us a little bit. They don't. They didn't do a really good job of of like bringing bringing something home for a general audience. I I liken this example to say you go watch a Marvel comic book movie. We know that Marvel comic books have been around for decades and decades and decades. There's a ton of lore, a ton of storylines, a ton of everything for a bunch of characters involved in that. But what the MCU has done well is that they've brought it home to where people of all walks of life, all general audiences can participate, have fun with the movie, get on board, connect with the stories, and they don't need to have read the comic books to do so. This movie very much felt like I needed to have played Dungeons & Dragons in order to get a lot of the stuff in it. And I'll piggyback off of that by pointing out one other like general aspect of it. You and I have grown up with comic books. Me yeah. more so than you. You kind of just have like fed off of me and then you've it's, adopted it yourself. I've oddly been more interested in the characters than actually reading the books themselves. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we've grown up with comic books. So, like, I would compare this if you were someone who, as a kid, you you got into Dungeons and Dragons and you just grew up with it. You would be in the same kind of, like, realm of love and realm of loving and Dungeons and Dragons movies as we are with loving MCU movies. It's just a matter we didn't grow up with Dungeons and Dragons, so that's where our disconnect is on that. But yeah, again, just for for someone like us, for people like us, it probably would have helped to have a little bit more hand holding throughout the movie in terms of kind of explaining, okay, who is this character? Why are they this way? Where do they come from? Kind of kind of a situation. Instead I feel like there was a whole lot of here's this person's role and they are carrying around the token of Aladar and then they're holding the the shield of Mahuvafum or something. I'm making up stuff. This isn't you don't look at me like I know what I'm talking about. I literally just made up words. Could have fooled me. <laughs> exactly. I was like, where's the dungeon master in this movie? I I don't know where the dungeon master is. No one's rolling any dice. Yeah. Uh yeah, so because there's a whole lot of that, Where's I feel like Vecna and Demogorgon. <laughs> because there's a whole lot of that, I feel like there was a lot of like lore and jargon and and things that just kind of went over our heads completely. Um, that isn't really necessarily an actual fault of the movie. Because again, if you're into Dungeons and Dragons, you catch all that and you're having fun with the movie. I am kind of curious, uh, and here's where we're gonna have uh, interaction with our audience. What were some things in this movie that you caught? If you are a fan of Dungeons & Dragons, what are some like little nods and stuff that they did in this movie? Let us know down below in the comments, because we have no clue. Yeah. Uh, uh, so this is, feel free to run amok in the, y'all didn't do your research, or you don't know anything about Dungeons & Dragons, why are you talking honest, about it? I was never going to do research for this movie. <laughs> I'm not going to sit no. here and read 18 Wikipedia pages and a how-to guide or buy a Dungeons & Dragons game or whatever. You think it's just 18? In order to get ready. That's <laughs> that's the extent of maybe what I would do. Uh, in order to get ready to just watch a two-hour movie. We're not going to do that, and it's unrealistic to think that we're going to do so. We watch movies. We talk about them. That's um, it. So, like... Even though, like, the two of us didn't like this movie, I fully believe if you are someone who is, one, into Dungeons & Dragons, and two, into medieval fantasy, this movie's probably great. Yeah, like you're uh, gonna love it, honestly. Comparing it to, like, some of, like, the shots and stuff that I'm familiar with, with the, like, 2000s Dungeons & Dragons movie, right. do you know there were two sequels to that that went straight to video? Yeah, weird. Anyways, looking at shots like that, I was like, that movie just looks so dull and boring. It's all dark and mysterious and just, eh. Yeah. This looks bright. This looks fun. This looks inviting. It really just doesn't matter. I just, I can't, I can't connect to Dungeons and Dragons and I can't connect to medieval fantasy. That's it. That's where mm -hmm. my negative ends at this. Otherwise, yeah. again, I believe this would be a fun movie if you do like those two things. So... Take my opinion as not liking it, like, on a grain of salt. Yeah. As for us, though, you know, you, you I like the aspects of it that are, are there for all audiences, the technical aspects, the acting, the comedy, all that stuff. I personally am at, like, a 5 out of 10 just for that. There's Because the, the rest of the movie loses me on the, on the whole lore of Dungeons & Dragons, which... 
It's yeah. probably going to do either way. And I'll say, in all honesty, I knew this stuff about me before seeing this movie, and I gave it an honest shot. I'm probably still going to rank this a 3 out of 10. Woo! Uh, I mean, the 3, again, technical aspects, the comedy, and the acting. That's it. Again, if you are someone who is a fan of Dungeons & Dragons, we're just really going to drive this home here. If you are someone who's a fan of Dungeons & Dragons, this review will not express to you whether you should go see this movie or not. Uh, if you are a fan of it, go see the movie. I think you're going to love it. Um, if you are not a fan, if you know nothing about Dungeons & Dragons... But you like medieval fantasy? Nope, that's not where I was going with that. Oh, if you are a fan of, if you're not a fan <laughs> of Dungeons and Dragons, and you're like us, this review will tell you whether you'll enjoy the movie or not. Probably. Yeah. So I mean, I I believe there's a couple layers in there. You could still like medieval fantasy and not know anything yeah, about Dungeons and Dragons. You might be and, into it then, and you might be okay with this movie. So. You might give it a seven. Yeah, but anyways, that's going to do it for this, uh, I guess we call this a review. That's going to do it for our opinion about this movie. What's your opinion? Let us know down below. Again, we're not trying to crap all over this movie. It's just it's just how we connect to it. How do you connect to it? Let us know down below. Let us know, again, what are some things that are from Dungeons & Dragons this movie? Because I'm curious. So, let us know about that. And, yeah, otherwise, make sure you follow us on social media at CineFanaticsMLP on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me personally as Robert Adams MLP on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterbox. Are you okay? I'm not sure. And YouTube.com slash at Robert Adams MLP. You can follow me at Chris Adams MLP on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterbox, as well as twitch.tv slash Chris Adams MLP. Yeah. Otherwise, make sure you drop a like on this. We might not have said the same thing or the things that you wanted us to say, but we still have an opinion. You're free to share yours. So drop us a like. You still like this video. You're overcompensating way too much right now. Sure. And then also make sure you subscribe because we will talk about stuff that we do enjoy. So, yes, make sure you come back for all of that good stuff as well. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. We will see you all later. Good night. Or goodbye. Or good day. Or whatever you're watching us. I don't know. Go to bed. I will. <laughs>